This is not a sponsored video. What is up guys? Before we begin I have a small side note. So today I'm going to take a totally different path with my channel and I'm going to rename it first of all to Nordic Sky Photography. Um, basically because I live in Denmark and I don't travel a lot so most of my astrophotography is going to be uh, in the north. I want to take you with me and I want to show you the stars. So to ease into this change on the channel we're going to do something not too far off book from where we came from with the last videos um, with the unboxing. So today I'm going to unbox my new astrophotography camera, the Altair Hypercam 183C. So let's open up the box and see what's in it. So what we have in the box is a quick start guide and what looks like maybe another box in the box. Or maybe it's just a lid. Let's see. Oh, 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 there's something in here. Probably cables. Oh, there it is. Look at it. See if I can focus. I'm using I'm using a manual focus lens uh, because all my other lenses are too noisy. We have the camera. Let's see if I can not drop it. When I took off the bubble wrapping, uh, it actually rolled down on the floor, but I think it's okay. But not out of the box. Look at this fancy purple, nicely cooled astrophotography camera. Awesome. Nice. We got something. We got a lid. I guess that's for the two inch thing that I'm trying to pull out here. Thank you. We got a two inch no uh, nose, nozzle nose, call it what you want. And that's it, I think, All right? Something's rattling in here. Oh, an Allen key. Allen, Allen, Allen. Allen. I think that's Allen's key, right? keys, right? I think so. Okay, so nothing else in the box. That was uh, anticlimactic. So, well, I got what I bought. So, lovely. I love it. So, what I want to find out with this is, because it has a guide port too, and I think I know the answer to this, but I want to see if it can do pictures and guiding at the same time through the scope, but I don't think it can. Uh, basically, because when the sensor is busy taking pictures, I don't see how it should be able to guide so but another thing that oh yeah forgot this one I'm so slow yeah cables we got a uh, cable for the guide uh, thing I can't remember what they're called but yeah and then we got a USB 3 cable cool and another thing that I did get for this camera uh, is well I got uh, a CLS filter, a city light suppression filter, and I got the, you can choose, in, in the camera there is a built-in, well not really built-in, you can screw it off, but a UV IR block filter. Um, you can take that out, and then because, well, if you want to do astrophotography, you really want all the light spectres, right? So I got this clear glass filter, to put in, but which still has the AR coating that the other one has. I don't know what AR coating really means, um, but yeah, I got that, and then I got the, the that I showed you the uh, city light suppression filter. Only thing with this is that where I live, I have a street light right on the corner of my property, and it's an LED light. I don't think these sort out that kind of light. But another thing I got for the camera is for my Nikon photography lenses, like uh, this 50 millimeter. I have a 105, and I have a 150 to 600 over there. But I got well, this that was a spacer, and this is the one I want. This is another thing in a box, but where you can put your Nikon lenses in here, and then you put your camera in here, and then you can use those. 
lenses for astrophotography if you want to do some wide field astrophotography too. And uh, combined with my Skywatcher uh, Star Adventure, uh, that's going to be awesome. So, I think that was it. That was everything I had to show you today. So, subscribe. Tune in again next time. Uh, next time I'm probably going to do um, a short review, uh, what I think of it. Not like an in-depth review because, I mean... Well, maybe. I don't know. I do like tech, so maybe I'll read up on it a lot. But uh, I will definitely do my 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 opinion of it, and uh, I will show you what I photograph when there's clear skies in Denmark, because there seldom are these days. I think my first project with it should be the uh, Pleiades, um, the Seven Sisters, and maybe see if I can get some proper pictures of those, because I never really got the chance to get those uh, in the first six months. Uh, that I hey, was going. Someone poked you. I suggest poking them back. Okay, I'm just gonna sh focus it a little bit. I see I can. I've been a little bit out of focus. That was my cousin texting me. But that's it. So now I am going to say goodbye and uh, see you next time. And hopefully you will subscribe and like this video and uh, hit the little bell and stuff like that to uh, know when I post my next video. Thanks for watching, and uh, I don't know what my outro should be yet. Clear skies? Bye.